Hi, in this video, I'll be demonstrating how to do toric transposition. Well, as you know, that toric lenses, these are sphero cylindrical lenses. Now, these sphero cylindrical lenses, they have two curvature. One is the maximum curvature and the second one is the minimum curvature. Now, this minimum curvature is also called as having a minimum power minimum power and this is what is called as the base curve remember this is called as the base curve now one thing which is very important is that the base curve must be specified if you are giving a toric transposition or a toric lens so for any transposition or any uh, toric lens description you need a base curve now let's have a look on how it is done well Whenever we are writing a toric lens formula, there are certain things which you have to keep in mind. Number one, it's written in a fraction form. So if you have to write the toric lens formula, this will be the power of the sphere divided by base curve power, base curve power with the axis and cylindrical power with the axis. This is how it is toric lens where prescription is being written. Let's begin with the example. Well, let's have a first question. So first question, suppose if you have plus two diopters spherical, okay, and plus one diopter cylindrical at 90 degree. Okay, and with base curve, how what? Base curve is minus six diopter. I'll be writing the formula on side by side, those four important steps which we have to follow, okay? So, let's have a look. The step one, the first step which we have to follow is number one, the sign. Sign of cylinder, okay? And base curve should be same. This will be your first step. Both the signs should be similar. Now, as you can see here, okay, the sign is what? Minus 6 and here it is plus 1. So, we have to transpose so that both the signs become similar. So, let's have a look. So, now we will start with the step 1. So, when we are transposing, what will it become? It will become plus 2 plus 1. It will become what? Plus 3 diopter spherical. Okay. Now, on changing the sign of cylinder, it will become minus 1 diopter cylindrical. Axis will become uh, 180 degrees, just perpendicular. Okay. And the base curve is how about? Minus 6 diopter. So, we are done with the first step. The Both the signs are now same. Cylinder and the base curve. Now, moving on to the second step. Now, see. Now, when we are doing the second step, we are calculating what? We are calculating sphere okay so now the sphere always remember it is power of spherical minus power of base curve okay so let's do second step okay before this i would like to say you something which is very important okay after transpositioning just focus on this one do forget about the question whatever is written the new value, whatever the calculation we will be doing, it will be based on this now. You don't have to look at question. You have to look at the first step when you have made the signs similar. So, when we are calculating the spherical power, okay, this will be what? You are taking this power of spherical will be equal to sphere. Sphere is what? Plus 3 diopter. So, plus 3. Don't take question 1. That is plus 2. No. It should be the transpose one so sphere will be plus three taking you have to subtract so minus base curve base curve is how much minus six so it will be minus six always write sign so that you won't confuse and always do algebraic sum so plus three minus minus uh, six so it will become how much plus nine diopter spherical this is your spherical power now let's move on to step three now the step step three is what you have to find out the axis of base curve now for this axis of base curve it's very simple okay nothing you have to do whatever axis is here you have got in transposition just add and subtract 90 degree if it is more than 90 subtract it if it is less than 90 add it so how much will be the axis of base curve 
so if we have to find out the axis of base curve write down the power whatever base curve we have here fixed diopter cylindrical axis is how much it will become perpendicular that is 90 degree this yes. subtracting it so step 3 done now we are coming on to step 4 that is power of cylindrical now cylindrical power is what you have to add power of cylinder plus power of base curve okay so when we are doing step 4 what we are doing we are taking which cylindrical power which one this one not the upper one okay whatever the transpose one so cylindrical power will be what minus 1 plus how much it is minus 6 base curve minus 6 so how much it became it became minus 7 diopter cylindrical and axis will be same okay okay fine. so this is the axis which is the same so final now when we have to write the prescription how will you write so the toric lens formula will become what it will be spherical power how much plus 9 so it will become plus 9 diopter spherical fine then base curve power with axis so it will become what minus 6 diopter cylindrical at 90 degree fine and then power of cylindrical that is minus 7 diopter cylindrical at 180 degree so this will be your final toric formula for uh, toric transposition for this formula i hope this is clear let's have one more uh, example okay so now suppose if we are getting a case something like this you have plus 10 diopters plus 10 diopter spherical okay with minus 5 diopter cylindrical at 180 degree fine your base curve is what plus 6 diopter fine so let's do again so what was the first formula sign okay sign should be same so let's go on doing for that so step one now again we have to transpose it so this will become what plus 10 minus 5 so this will become how much plus 5 diopter spherical change the sign this will become plus 5 diopter cylindrical axis just perpendicular so it will become 90 degree base curve plus 6 diopter same now no props the step one done now let's move on to step two what is step two we have to calculate the power of sphere which is what spherical power sphere minus base curve right so let's go on to step two that is now as i said before also we have to focus only on which formula this formula now okay for what, what, what was given in the question you have to for whatever now the uh, whatever has to be done has to be done on this formula so let's go on to step 2 that is spherical power. So for calculating the spherical power, how much it will be? See, what is the sphere? It is plus 5. So it becomes plus, plus 5 minus. You have to subtract. Base curve is how much? Plus 6. So this will become how much? Minus 1 diopter spherical. Fine enough? Yeah. Now we have to calculate what? Base curve axis. Fine. Step 3. So, as said above, just you have to make it perpendicular to this. So, base curve axis will be how much? The what was the base curve power? Plus 6. So, this will be plus 6 diopter cylindrical at perpendicular. So, it will become 180 degree. You add 90 degree. Fine. Now, let's go on to the fourth step. That is power of cylinder. So, power of cylinder will be what? It is cylindrical power plus base curve power, right? So what is the cylindrical power? What is cylinder? Plus 5, right? So it will become plus 5. Then you add base curve. What is base curve? Plus 6. So it become how much? Plus 6. So it will become how much? Plus 11 diopter. Axis will be same. So this will become at 90 degree. So now when we have to write the formula. So this the formula will be number 1. What is the sphere? Minus 1. So this will become minus 1 diopter spherical. Fine. What is the base curve? It is plus 6 diopter cylindrical at 
180 degree fine and what is the cylindrical it is plus 11 diopter plus 11 diopter cylindrical at 90 degree so this will be your final transposition power for lens prescription for that now let's have a look on the last case that will i think clear up everything okay uh, third suppose if we have example like uh, minus one diopter spherical okay and here you are having plus one diopter cylindrical at 90 degree now the base curve is what it is minus six sorry plus six plus six diopter cylindrical now see let's go by first by first step first first step was what same sign right now just have a look what you can see it is plus here and it is plus here so the first step is already done we don't need to do anything it is plus it is plus so it's correct like this okay now we'll go directly to step two that is we have to calculate what spherical power that is sphere minus base curve right so let's go on to step two okay so what is your step two let's do spherical power spherical power will be how much sphere is how much minus one minus one minus base curve plus six so how much it will become plus six minus one sorry minus one minus six so it will become minus seven diopter cylinder sorry, spherical right okay now let's move on to third step third step is what axis of the base curve fine now when we are talking of axis of the base curve again as you remember what is the base curve axis what is the power plus six so it will become plus six diopter cylindrical what is the power just perpendicular so it will become 180 degree correct now let's see what is the last step that is cylindrical power cylinder cylinder plus base curve right so in the fourth step cylindrical power it will become what what is it plus one what is the base curve plus plus six so this will become plus seven diopter cylindrical power uh, axis will be same as the one okay so if we have to final transpose it so the it will come how much minus seven diopter spherical fair enough by axis will be base axis is how much plus 6 diopter cylindrical at 180 degree and plus 7 diopter cylindrical at 90 degree so this will be your formula for this one now in a nutshell if i have to conclude i'll just say you to remember some of the salient features number one definitely same sign you have to check it out if the first step if both the same uh, signs of base curve and uh, this thing uh, uh, your uh, cylinder are same then first step is already done else you have to do it and once you do it next all the formula will be based on after derivation of this mm -hmm. then second step spherical always remember the spherical power no you have to subtract spherical uh, you have to subtract base curve from spherical that is spherical minus base curve don't go reverse it is very important please don't go reverse else that your equation will be wrong fine the third step that is axis of base curve so for axis of base curve just remember one thing that whatever it has come in the step one just make it perpendicular to it it's either 90 or 180 degree whatever it is coming fair enough then fourth is what power of cylinder now when we are talking of power of cylinder it is just opposite of what we did that is sorry this is what cylinder this will be what cylinder plus base curve and then you write the final one that is where by base curve slash cylinder so most important remember same sign number two in step two same sign and after that whatever formula will be coming whatever you will get those will be the basis for the other steps and in spherical you have to subtract sphere from the base curve that's all thank you so much if any doubts is there please do write in the comment i would like to clear it out